There's nothing special about this video. It's just me talking to a camera. There's going to be no fancy editing. No fancy visuals. Not even any fancy speaking. Just like there's nothing special about this video. There's nothing special or unique about my problems in life. Sometimes they feel like they matter. But who, the, who do they matter to? Do they matter to other people? Or are they focused on caring about their problems? And if they matter to me, why is that the case? Why do they matter to me? Well, why are they problems in the first place? I could say they're problems because if I didn't get what I wanted, or the good outcome didn't happen, or I didn't succeed, I'd be left with unhappiness or unpleasantness. So the problem is really in trying to get to the desired outcome, the desired thing. So in that desire, we've created something called a problem. We've created a problem from something that doesn't exist. Because before, it's just this plain occurrence. And now, it's something we've decided to label as a problem. Because we need something to happen. And so, why do I have problems? Well, I think that kind of answers it, because I want something to happen. I am attached to that outcome. And that attachment means that I'm less living a life as I am living in my head. When I'm working, when I'm working on something, I need something to happen. I need to get somewhere. And in the pursuit of that accomplishment, there's underlying fear. There's underlying fear which doesn't just manifest in I'm afraid, that's not how I and most people feel and interpret it. Most people feel fear through anxiety, wondering what could happen, thinking, overthinking, or agitation, being agitated whilst working, being agitated and needing to be in the destination or needing some reassurance that you can get to that destination because of an underlying feeling that it's not okay if you wouldn't get to that destination. So fear. Why am I afraid? Well, 
If I lost my job, I wouldn't have money. I wouldn't have that sense of security and safety by having money, by being assured that I will therefore be able to get the things I want. It's not so much of a fear of, will I have a roof over my head? I think everybody in society in a Western civilization, whether or not you earn money, you will be given a roof over your head, usually by some organization, and given food by some support group. So for me, that isn't the fear. For me, that fear is because of that needing security through money. Because through the money, I can purchase things. Through the money, I can get that sense that I'm heading in the right direction in my life. Because through money, I can say, now I have this much money in my bank, I've got these investments, I've got these things, and so I can tell myself I'm heading in the right direction. I can choose to start to approve of myself. I can tell myself, well now I'm more attractive to women because I possess resources it's desirable now i have that sense of well there's probably going to be somebody that um, would be happy with the level of success that i have compared to let's say i was homeless that would leave me with a um It would leave me with the thought that now I'm not lovable by the opposite sex because I don't possess anything of value, therefore I'm not worthy. And this is all created in the mind. You can start to see this is a tangle of webs. Whether or not other people do perceive you in those ways the fear is the control mechanism that prevents freedom. Because you're living in your head in a self-created, and I am living in a head in a self-created loop of what ifs. And withholding different things from myself in order for me to take action. For example, trust. Agitation, fear, can push you into taking actions. I'm afraid, so I must work. kind of has a potentially useful aspect to it. Why can't I and why can't people work without that need to succeed? To work without that agitation To work without that fear, why can't people do that? Maybe it's because of a lack of trust. The lack of trust in yourself to take those actions without a control mechanism. Because if you were really truly free, free to do 
and to be how you'd like to be through freedom from the mind would you continue to trust yourself to doing those things or would those things be against what you naturally want to do be against what you naturally feel trusted to do For example, you might decide, well, I don't want to work in my job anymore. I don't like my work. You might decide that. Maybe you want to be a painter. But but people can't make money from paint, painting anymore because of AI doing all the artwork. Or maybe that's the case, I don't know. Maybe you want to be a painter. So, because the fear of that, of just you getting up and leaving a job because you can't trust yourself, you created this control mechanism in your mind that produces emotions based on situations that you consider in your mind in order to control you into being and behaving in certain ways many of these control mechanisms are given to you from society from people from programming from family but a lot of it is also continued by you that's the responsibility you must take here for me that was the realization that I was given all these programs but it's up to me to decide hey it's time to put in a new program it's time to write myself a new program in the mind and not to be a victim of the old programs that were given to me and to realize yeah they were given to me but I was the one that continued to hold them in my mind for years and years and years and years. So that's the accountability aspect. Now ultimately I don't know what I want to do in life. I don't know the exact career that I want to take. I'm currently in a career but I sometimes question if it's the best place for me to utilize my skills and my natural talents. There's also an aspect where AI is coming in. I've talked about this in another video, but AI is changing the landscape of work of jobs the economy what we can do what generates money so I think this is an opportune time for you to join me and to contemplate this contemplate who are you without that position that job of value that produces money. Who are you without that? Can you can, can you continue to to enjoy life without that need for that security? You might be a programmer now. What if programming goes away in two years' time? The AI takes it over, or five years' time. Just something to think about, eh? So here's a little recap. These programs in our minds control us from true freedom.
And I think I started off this video talking about how this video is not special. Your problems aren't special. But we make we make them feel special. Maybe they are special. <laughs> They have a certain uniqueness to them, a certain relation with us. But at the same time, if we say there are problems, we're going to suffer. I'll give this some more thought, and I might continue and make another video on this another time. Catch you later.